What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So as of right now, we are less than a week away from the start of the 8th anniversary celebration on Global. And in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick-ish breakdown of all the events that you can expect to see during this celebration. But of course, there's so much stuff to cover that it's probably still going to end up being a relatively long video but that's okay it'll be worth it hopefully and uh, we are going to be focusing on a part one of the celebration because uh let's be honest that's the most important part that's the most eventful part and then as we get closer to part two and part three i'll give you guys uh previews for those as well so basically this is a global eighth anniversary part one preview so yeah, with all that said, let's jump right into it. And the first place we'll start is with the login unit for this year, which is, uh, to nobody's surprise, hopefully, a free-to-play Goku with all your energy, Goku. And honestly, his art looks very, very clean. We got Goku with his hands up, uh, with the Dragon Balls floating around him, and then a Shenron in the background. Really nice looking art. His leader skill is attack and defense plus 18% per key sphere obtained. And then his super attack causes supreme damage, raises all allies attack by 18%, and chance of performing a critical hit by 8% for one turn. His passive is attack and defense plus 88% for 8 turns from the start of the turn. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, attack and defense plus 18%. Per key sphere obtained, chance of performing a critical hit plus 8% per rainbow key sphere obtained, and then attack and defense plus 88% when performing a super attack. And his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Family, Experienced Fighters, Saiyan Lineage, Z Fighters, and Prepared for Battle. So obviously, he has all these 8s in his passive and his uh, super attack and his leader skill because. He's the 8th anniversary free to play unit, so gotta have all those 8s in there. And uh, overall, it's a pretty decent free to play unit. I mean, obviously, if you're not like a new player and you don't need a lot of filler units, um, he's not gonna be someone that you use long term, but you do wanna have as many of these like special anniversary, special event units as possible in your collection, so definitely a good one to add, and uh, we'll get this guy. In our boxes uh, upon the first login when the anniversary begins. So that is the free to play Goku. Next up, we have probably the thing that people are most excited for, which is the 8th anniversary Dual Dokkan Fest between LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, as well as LR GT Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about these banners, but taking a look at the featured units, uh, they're both very good banners. We got on this side the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, and then the side unit is a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and Piccolo. And then the other featured units are Gamma 1, LR Final Form Cooler, <clears throat> LR Full Power Frieza, LR Super Saiyan God, Goku, and Vegeta from the 7th anniversary celebration. We got LR SSV Vegeta from the 6th anniversary. We got LR Gogeta slash Blue Gogeta from the 5th anniversary. And this guy will be getting a uh, Extreme Z Awakening later on in the celebration as well. And then we have LR Vegito or Goku and Vegeta. And then the Int GT Vegeta. And also, of course, an SR uh, Cooler. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 featured units. Out of those, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 LRs. So basically 70% of the featured units are Dokkan Fest LRs. And then for the other side, we got the GT Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. The banner unit or side unit is an Ice Shenron and Nova Shenron. And then we have Gamma 2. We have uh, Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta from the Cooler movie. We got Int LR Super Saiyan Goku. The 7th anniversary LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. 6th anniversary LR UI Goku. 5th uh, anniversary Tech LR Vegito, who obviously is also getting the Extreme Z Awakening. 
We got LR boot tanks, GT Goku, and then two SRs on top of that. So I would say between these two banners, um, which one do I prefer? Uh, it's a really tough call for me. It, it's actually a really, really tough call because on the one hand, I'm like a huge Gogeta fanboy and I love blue Gogeta. So, you know, having the fifth anniversary Gogeta here is pretty nice along with these guys who can also, you know, become blue Gogeta kind of through an active skill. Uh, on the other hand, on this side, we have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in the Super Saiyan 4s here. We have, of course, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta here, who I love, so... I don't know, the point is, they're both amazing banners, definitely both worth your stones, definitely both worth summoning on, and of course there will also be discounts on top of that, so... Um, yeah, just an amazing Dual Dokkan Fest. And... looks like for time we're doing okay, but... I'm gonna very quickly break down these LRs for you guys too. So starting with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, leader skill is Power of Wishes or Final Trump Card, Category Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP Attack and Defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Connected Hope or Majin Buu Saga categories. And then the 12k super attack raises defense, raises attack for one turn, and causes colossal damage. And then the 18k super greatly raises defense, greatly raises attack for one turn, and causes mega colossal damage. Passive is attack and defense plus 200%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50%, when HP is 50% or more, plus an additional defense plus 100%, an additional key plus 1 per key sphere obtained as the first attacker in a turn, plus an additional attack plus 100%, an additional key plus 2 per key sphere obtained as the second attacker, second or third attacker in a turn. Launches an additional attack, it has a great chance of becoming a super attack when key is 18, launches an additional super attack when key is 24, plus an additional key plus 1, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% up to 50% with each super attack performed. They have a standby skill, which is the new anniversary mechanic, and uh, this can be activated when HP is 50% or less, or after performing 4 or more attacks during battle, starting from the 4th turn from the start of battle once only. And this switches them to standby for 5 turns, and you gain 1 charge counter per key sphere obtained for all allies. And their links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighters, Prepare for battle, fierce battle, and legendary power. So once you activate that standby skill, you become Goku and Vegeta. And their passive is unable to attack except when finish skill or finish effect is activated. Defense plus 250%, guards all attacks for 4 turns from start of turn. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, reduces damage received by 8%. Per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack plus 500% when performing a finish attack. And we have two different finish attacks. The first one is a regular spirit bomb, which can be activated when charge counter is 38 or below once only. And then we have the super spirit bomb, which can be activated when charge counter is 39 or above. And the regular spirit bomb temporarily raises attack plus 50, or sorry, uh, by 15% per charge counter accumulated and causes ultimate damage and then the super spirit bomb temporarily raises attack by 20% per charge counter accumulated and causes super ultimate damage to the enemy so needless to say these finish attacks hit very very hard so next up we have the super saiyan 4 goku or my bad the gt goku and super saiyan 4 vegeta Leader skill is Power of Wishes or Battle of Fate, Category Q plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Final Trump card or Shadow Dragon Saga category. Super attack raises attack, raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. Ultra super attack greatly raises attack, greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Passive is attack and defense plus 200% plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when HP is 50% or more. 
plus an additional defense plus 100% and additional key plus 1 per key sphere obtained as the first attacker in a turn, plus an additional attack plus 100%. An additional key plus two per key sphere obtained as the second or third attacker in a turn launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when key is 18 launches an additional super attack when key is 24 plus an additional key plus one and reduces damage received by 10 percent up to 50 percent with each super attack performed they also have a standby skill which can be activated when hp is 50 percent or less or after receiving five or more attacks during battle starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle once only and links are saying warrior race saying lineage experienced fighters gt prepare for battle fierce battle and legendary power so with the standby you become uh, gt super saiyan vegeta and uh, the 12 key super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage and then the 18 key super greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and Raises super class allies attack by 40% for one turn. Passive is attack, uh, attack plus 250%, plus an additional defense plus 150% when HP is 50% or above. All allies keep plus 8 and attack plus 80%, revives with 100% recovered, sorry, 100% HP recovered when the character or an ally attacking on the same turn is KO'd once only, plus an additional. Attack plus 39% when performing a finish attack. And the finish attack is this super ultra spirit bomb and uh, can be activated when revival skill is activated once only. And uh, it counters with extreme power against the opponent who KOs the character or an ally attacking in the same turn. So essentially this finish attack just procs once you uh, get knocked out and you revive with the revival skill, right? So that is the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, damn, I keep saying Super Saiyan 4 Goku. GT Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, they're similar in some ways, but obviously uh, there are some important differences in there, but they're both incredible units. Okay, so next up we have this uh, 77 unit summon for the 8th anniversary. We've had this for a couple years now. Um, it's been like a different number of units each time, but uh, this year it's once again 77 instead of 88. Not sure why, but I guess they thought 88 was too much. I don't really know, but it's 77. And it's 300 stones for the Dragonstone summon. We get, uh, you know, there's this featured pool, of course, all the other like units in the game, essentially. The non Dokkan Fest units are also available uh, in this banner. And then at the very end of your summon, you get three guaranteed LRs. And the way it works is that there are three different pools. So your 75th unit summoned is either from pool A, B, or C. Your 76th unit summoned is from pool A or B. And then your 77th unit summoned is from pool A. So obviously pool A is the best. I'll give you guys a quick look. Pool A is comprised of the newer LRs in the game, so you got uh, you know units like the Golden Frieza, you got you know uh, the Great Ape Vegeta, you got Kaioken Goku, and so on and so forth. And then for Group B, it's kind of like the medium age units. You got like Kaelin Khalifa, you got Tech Broly, the LR Androids, and then Group C are the oldest LRs in the game, right? You got like Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Int Gohan. Uh, STR Broly, who is still awesome to get, um, so I wouldn't mind him actually. Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind him because he's rainbowed on global, but if you don't have him, you shouldn't mind pulling him. Okay, so those are the three pools. That is the guaranteed LR summon. And of course, there's also a ticket version where uh, through the anniversary, through missions, we'll be able to collect 50 tickets, and then by part three, you'll have all 50 tickets to do a uh, 77 summon triple guaranteed LR summon as well so you can do the stone summon if you want to but that's optional but you should definitely do this ticket summon because it's three guaranteed LRs minimum right and of course you can also get more LRs uh, throughout the summon I've seen people get like five six seven LRs so anything is possible but that is the guaranteed LR banner and we also have this standard anniversary ticket banner where we can use these uh, anniversary tickets we've been collecting for at least like a month now at this point 
and uh, we'll get more throughout the anniversary too. So this is the featured pool of units, nothing terribly exciting, but obviously uh, a lot of the LRs in the game are in this pool too, so we can potentially, potentially pull them in your summons. It's not like super likely, but chances are with all those tickets, you'll pull at least like one, maybe two, and if you're really lucky, you could get more, right? So that is the eighth anniversary ticket banner. And now we're gonna get into the uh, coin shop. So in the Bob shop, we can use these eighth anniversary coins we've been collecting for some useful items like Grand Kai's, uh, some special units from previous anniversaries and other kinds of celebrations like uh, worldwide celebrations and things like that. And then of course, your reversal medals, your trading items, your Hercule statues, uh, training locations, orbs, um, support items, awakening medals, and so on and so forth. And then we also have this red dragonstone, this god dragonstone, which we'll be getting for first login. And uh, you can exchange that for one of these units in the Bob Shop too. I don't think they really updated it um, recently, so it should be the same pool as the last God Dragons that we got. So yeah, just take your pick from these units, and if you have all of them rainbowed already, then you can just go for a uh, Elder Kai, like I'll be doing. So that is the Red Dragonstone pool. We also have, of course, the purple dragonstone available for purchase with some stone packs and this is of course only for pay to play players because it's not available free to play but if you get three of the purple dragonstones you can exchange for an LR along with some extra characters so here is a quick look at some of the packages you can get with your purple dragonstone and then if you only want to buy two god dragonstones uh, you can exchange for one of the older LRs along with uh, an extra unit and then if you only get one God Dragonstone, wait, it's a premium Dragonstone, my bad. Uh, one premium Dragonstone, uh, or purple Dragonstone that is, then you can get one of these units as well for a single purple Dragonstone. So um, very similar selection. I think there might be a few additions, but basically you know, pretty similar to our last purple Dragonstone uh, pool. And uh, once again, it's only for pay to play players, unfortunately at this time. Next up, we have some events. So the first three event is called Terrifying Majin and Reborn Soul. And through this event, we can recruit a free-to-play Bobbity. And this Bobbity actually is going to be this year's free-to-play uh, Easy ALR, right? So this is the TUR, and this is the LR Bobbity right there. And then he gets an Extreme Z Awakening, of course, later on in the celebration. But the more exciting part is that he actually becomes Majin Vegeta with his standby. Uh, and this Majin Vegeta has some really cool art. I was going to say arguably my one of my favorite arts in the game, but I don't think it's quite there, but it's really good. <laughs> I really, really like it. So we got this dope looking Majin Vegeta through this LR. And then the next event is called Super Warrior Memorial Goku and Friends. And through this event, we can recruit a free-to-play Hercule. So uh, the Hercule is um, also an Extreme Z Awakening or an EZA unit. So this is the SSR, there's the TUR, and then his uh, EZA drops later on in the celebration too. And unfortunately, this guy does not go LR, but uh, He's an interesting free-to-play unit, to, to say the least. So, there you have it. That is the Hercule. And then we also have this event, uh, Super Warrior Memorial Goku and Rivals. And we actually don't get any free-to-play units through this event. But what we do get are two new uh, support memories. This one is a Spirit of a Martial Artist with the Goku. And then this one is... Piccolo's encouragement with Piccolo and uh, go wait, hold on, is it Gohan? It's Piccolo, it's Piccolo and Goku. My bad. Okay, Piccolo and Goku. So that is the uh, other story event. So that's three new story events, and then next up we have a special event called Pilaf's Obsession Come Forth Ultimate Shenron. 
and through this event we can get uh, event sorry um, category category exclusive uh, skill orbs for the power of wishes category and just like the Whis event just like basically every other orb event in the game it's available once per day throughout the celebration so that's the pilaf event next up we have this goku event called learn with goku intense offense and defense training so i don't know exactly i'll be honest exactly how this works but from my understanding there's two stages one is offense training one is defense training so in the offense training you're trying to do damage and trying to kill this goku and then in the defense training you're trying to tank his hits so you want to bring like tanky units to survive his hits and then kill him at the end and uh, between the two stages you get 15 stones per clear so that's 30 stones available from this event along with these two extra stones for just clearing the stage so 32 stones are available through this goku training event but i didn't actually have a chance to run this event when it came out on jp so um i don't have too many details about it right now but uh i think the way i explained it is is pretty accurate anyways next up we have this uh wishes backfire birth of the shadow dragons event where you're fighting you're fighting all the shadow dragons stage by stage starting with Hades Shenron and then Rage Shenron, Oceanus Shenron, Naturon Shenron, Nova Shenron, Ice Shenron and of course ending with Sin Shenron uh, as your final uh, fight here and then for the other event next up here called Strongest Mystery Seize the Victory with Spirit Bomb you're fighting the two final bosses of uh, the Boo Saga and um, GT respectively or the Shadow Dragon Saga respectively you got uh, Kid Buu and then stage 2 is defeating Omega Shenron so some challenging events right there these two are probably um, the hardest events I would say this one I, th I think is the hardest one but I don't remember it's been a while since the JP uh, anniversary but either way these these should give you uh, the challenge you're looking for if you think everything else is too easy right so two challenging events right there and then we have two extreme z awakenings um the infamous i would say uh vegito super vegito fizz super vegito extreme z awakening the weakness is transformation boost and then we also have this uh better you know solid um super boo extreme z awakening as well and the weakness is potara and i think that brings us hold on there's one more thing this is the special eighth anniversary edition of uh, battlefield ultimate clash and we got a whole new set of special enemies for this battlefield the final bosses are the kid boo the uh, omega shenron and also the gt goku with i think three different phases i believe and uh yeah just a special um, battlefield to commemorate the anniversary and that about does it for the first part of the eighth anniversary which is going to be running for about three weeks i believe and then after that we have part two then we have part three and those two are going to be shorter than part one like i said part one is by far by far the most important the most eventful part of the anniversary and uh, that's where most of the action is that's where most of the excitement is that's where most of the free to play stones are available but uh part two and part three have some good things as well which uh we'll definitely get to as we you know get closer to those dates so for now that's all i gotta say in this video guys uh thank you so much for watching hope you guys are excited for the anniversary to start i know some of the hype has died down a little bit because it's been so long and a lot of you guys already know what's happening but it should still be fun it should still be fun you know we as much as we want both sides to be uh synced up as much as we want that lr full power or super full power saying for goku on global that's just not gonna be happening anytime soon so we just gotta accept things as they are and try to you know enjoy what we have you know we tr try to look at the positive in things anyways should be a great anniversary guys uh lots of content coming your way i'm going to try to cover most of this stuff in separate videos if i can and uh 
Thank you for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.